If you feel like a stressed out hamster on a wheel at work, running in place instead of taking your career to new heights, then it's time to get organized, get prioritized, and energized to excel with today's Get Control and Get More Done quick tip. Hey, I'm Mike Song, co-author of the best-selling productivity book, The Hamster Revolution, and today I want to share a few really cool Google search secrets that are going to save you time and help you get more done. First of all, if you type your zip code and the word weather into a Google browser, it'll provide you with an accurate forecast for the next four days. Really handy. If you use Google as a calculator, all you have to remember is to use the same symbols that you'd use for an Excel spreadsheet. So here we are multiplying 252, 252 by 300 to get 75,600. If you type in your zip code plus the word movies, maybe you're really quickly trying to check so you don't have to take too much time out for work, it'll give you a complete set of movie listings in your area. More importantly, if you're doing some business travel and you're wondering if your flight's going to be canceled due to bad weather, you can type in the name of your airline and the flight number and you'll get an immediate status update from Google. You can also type in the airport symbol or, or abbreviation like JFK and LAX for JFK, John F. Kennedy in New York, and Los Angeles Airport in Los Angeles, and, and a departing and returning date, and you'll get a, a full list of flights. You just click on your particular travel provider. Now, all of these tips also work with Bing, which is a fantastic search engine. Uh, here are a few more things you can do. If you quickly want to check a stock price, just type the stock symbol into Bing or Google, and boom, it'll pop that up for you. If you're trying to figure out if you've got the right definition of a word, I'm always fuzzy about vacuum and vacuum cleaners, vacuums in space and vacuum cleaners. <laughs> so if you type in definition and that word vacuum, it'll pop up a spelling, definition, and everything you need to know. You can also convert currencies if you're a global traveler like me and you really need to know what, what are dollars into euros, what are pesos into dollars and so on. All you do is you type that into Google and it, it, it understands almost any abbreviation. For example, USD is just as good for US dollars and it will convert that. You can also use that same conversion principle to convert Fahrenheit into Celsius and Celsius into Fahrenheit temperatures if you're traveling abroad and you're not sure what the temp is. Now, if you want to do a very quick sports score check, all you do is you type in the name of your team and the word score, and Google or Bing will pop up the score. And Google does this really neat thing where it actually shows you, if you're halfway through the game, what inning or quarter or period you're in in the game, and the score to that point. On, on a business note, if you're trying to track an important FedEx or UPS package, all you have to do is go to Google and just copy and paste that FedEx tracking number into that Google window and it will give you a complete update. You don't have to log into the website, which is really cool. And if you're looking for a phone number or maybe someone calls you and you're not sure what that area code is from, type in that area code uh, uh, plus uh, the, word air, the words area and code and it will pop up and tell you, hey, that's Southwest Connecticut. That's where the people are calling from. A couple more quick tips that I have for you. If you type in phone book and a phone number, it'll tell you whose phone number that is if they're listed. For example, this number here is for Patty's Pizzeria in New York. So that's one way that if you have that maybe on your cell phone or something like that, and you're thinking, oh, I think that's the pizza place, type it into Google and you'll know for sure. Another thing you can do is put parentheses around your search and then it will search for that exact keyword string. So if you're looking for Mike Song specifically, put that in parentheses and maybe a qualifier word or two and you're much more likely to get accurate words about Mike's Mike Song. In other words, you could get results about a guy named Mike who wrote a song, but if you really want me, Mike Song in parentheses is going to find me on Twitter. Uh, find me on Twitter. Uh, you can also find me at our website here as well. Um, if you're looking for more free productivity tips, please come to my blog at getcontrol.net. You can also find out here about our fantastic team training, and we'd love to see you in a Get Control class sometime soon. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for your time. Hope it was helpful. We'll talk to you soon. And, uh, and remember, you've got to get control if you want to get more done.